Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the best features and changes coming to the Windows 11 Moment 5 update. The Moment 5 update or the February 2024 update is expected to arrive as an optional update at the end of February with a full release sometime in March, but it packs several improvements. Okay, let's dive into the best features coming in this update, but before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help Google show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything to you and you will be helping the channel and you will be supporting my work. Starting with the Moment 5 update, Microsoft is updating the Snap Layouts feature with the ability to suggest the apps that you can snap together. So now when you hover over the Maximize button and you will see the different layouts that are available to you, you will also see that the system will now suggest how you can snap your app with different apps that you might have running on the system. For example, right here I have the Microsoft Edge browser and if I and if I choose this layout, you can see that the system will suggest to snap these two apps as well. And that makes it a lot easier to snap apps together. And like I said before, the suggestion is also available if you use the top layouts menu. In this moment update on the recovery settings, you're also going to find this new fix problems using Windows Update option that allows you to repair the operating system through Windows Update to fix most common problems. And once you click the reinstall now button, the wizard will start and will give you some information about the feature and you also have the option to automatically restart the computer. Once you click the OK button, you'll be directed to the Windows Update settings and the computer will download the current version to reinstall the operating system while preserving your files, settings and apps. Now if we jump to the nearby sharing settings, we're going to find that we have a rename button with a new interface that allows you to specify a new name for the computer to make it easier to find the device when you're sharing files with other PCs in the same network. Also, as part of the Moment 5 update, nearby sharing is improving the transfer speeds of files between devices. Also, it's making it easier to set up the feature. So let's say if nearby sharing is turned off in the computer, if you turn on this feature, the system will also turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in your computer so you don't have to do any extra steps. Also, as part of the share improvements, when you share a file or a folder, you will see that the share interface now includes the option to share that specific content straight to WhatsApp. If the app is not installed, it will download automatically on your computer. And in the future, you might even see other apps available through this section right here. As part of the Windows 11 Moment 5 update, Microsoft is also updating the widgets board. So now in the settings page, you will find this setting right here that allows you to turn off the news fee from the board. So when you open the experience, you only see the widgets that you want. It's important to note that for users in the European Union, Microsoft allow you to add other news fees sources from the Microsoft Store but that is still on the works. Finally, in the settings page, you will also find a new notifications settings that allows you to turn off and on notification badges for the taskbar and to turn on and off announcements that appears on the widgets icon right here. Microsoft is also updating voice access and there are two main changes to the feature. One is that the feature not works across multiple displays. And when you open the, the commands page, you will now have an option to create shortcuts. And shortcuts allows you to map whatever it is that you wanna to say to a specific action. So here you can create a custom shortcut where you can just type what is it that you wanna say. You can choose the action, for example, open a folder. And then you can just save that. And then when you use the feature, when you save the specific shortcut, it will perform that specific action. However, this feature is currently only available in English. 
Also, as part of the narrator feature, when you add natural voices, the company now added previews so you can hear the voice before downloading it to your computer. Hello, my name is Linda. I am a high... Hello, my name is Ryan. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use. Also, on Bluetooth side devices, when you go to mobile devices, this is not technically a new page. It was previously known as Font Link, but Microsoft had renamed it to mobile devices. But now it includes a new feature, which is this one right here. And this will allow you to receive notifications when new photos and screenshots are available on your phone. And then you can access and edit those images directly into the Snipping Tool app. And to get started using that specific feature, you need to turn it on and then you just need to click the manage devices button, but it appeared that it just uh, opened automatically. But basically you just need to click that button and then it will open this new app. If the app is not installed on your computer, you have to wait a few moments until the apps gets installed. Here I'm already logged in with my Microsoft account, but you might have to log in before you can get to the screen. Then just click the add device button and this will generate a barcode that you will need to scan with your phone in order to connect it to your Android device. And this is what I'm going to do right now. And basically that is a link to download the link to Windows app on your phone. Once it is installed, you will need to enter the code that appears on the computer, which is what I'm going to do right now. And once you configure the app on your phone, just click continue on your computer. And here we can see that the feature is enabled. And then we have the get new photos notifications option turned on. So now whenever you take a photo or a screenshot, you should be getting a toast notification right here on the bottom. And when you click that, it will open the image straight into the snipping tool so you can edit it and send it or save it on the computer. I have tried to take uh, some pictures and screenshot, but I'm not getting the notification. I think that's because I'm using a virtual machine and maybe the connection is not working correctly. And last but not least, Microsoft is also relocating the Copilot button to the right side of the taskbar. Before it used to be right here where all the apps are pinned, but now the company is moving it to the bottom right corner. Though I do have to say that on my installation, I did not have this change enabled. So I'm showing you a preview build from the dev channel that actually has the Copilot now on the right side. As a result of this change, Microsoft is disabling the show desktop option that will appear when you click on the bottom right corner of the taskbar. If you ever want to enable that option again, you just need to go to the taskbar settings under taskbar and behaviors settings. You just need to select this option right here. Also, I wanted to point out that as part of the moment five update, Microsoft will be rolling out specific changes to comply with the digital markets act or DMA. But these changes will only apply to users in any of the regions of the European Union. These changes will include the ability to uninstall Microsoft Edge and most of the built-in apps in Windows. Also, users will be able to remove Bing from Windows Search and change the search provider when applicable. Microsoft is also making changes to ensure that Windows 11 will preserve the user's default settings, including remembering the default web browser, email client, and many other apps. The system will now prompt users to give their choice to sync their data between Windows and a Microsoft account. Of course, if the users choose not to share the data, this will limit the functionality of that specific feature, such as file recommendations in the start menu. And that's it. Those are the best features and changes coming in the last moment update of Windows 11. Moving forward, the company will revert to releasing one feature update per year, and that will be the update that it will include all the features for a specific version. Also keep in mind that this update also brings some other changes and I will add a link in the video description for more details. If you want to install this update as soon as possible, you have to enroll your computer into the Windows Insider program and then you need to choose the release preview option. And also you need to check 
the get the latest update as soon as they're available option right here and then check for updates. Now, if you don't want to enroll in the Windows Insider program, you can always wait until the end of February in order to receive the update as an optional install. However, you still have to enable this option to get it before it is fully available to everyone. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.